Hi guys, welcome back. So, here's where we at. Uh, installed the uh, uh, cab onto the bobcat. Main reason why, because it's just in my way. And uh, um, I'm actually waiting on uh, uh, an answer from a hydraulic uh, company, company that sells hydraulic pumps and parts. I'm waiting on a parts breakdown for uh, my hydrostatic pump and it looks like it's gonna be a while to get an answer from from them it's not that easy uh, just basically they're not very interested in selling parts they're just interested in selling pumps um, so while I'm waiting I kind of wanna um, do some other stuff like uh, as, as you can imagine I got plenty of work to do um, there's uh, all kinds of uh, uh, projects, mini projects uh, that involved in this uh, bobcat because pretty much I'm building it from the ground up. Um, so, uh, as you probably seen before, I have. Well, let me just let me just show you the paint. Uh, what I actually did, um, I paint everything but this front right here because this uh, arm was um, up in the air and um, it, it wasn't really uh, convenient for me to sand it mask it uh, and uh, because it's got uh, ramps uh, on it so i decided to paint everything except this front area this front area i will do very last when everything is already done when when everything is working i'm, I'm gonna uh paint front um bob -tash, this uh front of these arms and stuff like that so as far as everything else this is what it looked like um i don't know if you can see much or not it looks fresh it looks uh like brand new it doesn't look it doesn't it's not shiny well it's like i would say it's a semi gloss same with the cab i actually like the color of the cab the cab oh, you can't see the the cab is actually on the inside as you remember i painted uh black and on the exterior i painted the charcoal the original uh, bobcat color uh it looks pretty good so uh as you can probably see and you've seen before i got parts all over my house all over the garage there's an engine there's panels that i painted the panels ram uh right there um air box i got all kinds of stuff in the yard all the pipes bunch of stuff so what i'm trying to do right now is actually um whatever i can put inside the bobcat put it inside so and one of those things is uh this right here i don't know if you can see it or not but this this is original wiring or whatever is uh left of it um when i was uh some time ago a couple years ago i i started looking for parts and i was able to find one uh dismantler or junkyard for uh heavy equipment he had uh, they had uh uh, bucket t300 and uh, t300 has a uh, very similar a lot of exactly the same parts and uh, a lot of uh, similar parts and one of those parts is this wiring right here so uh, I was able to, that was the only it was pretty much let me see that was pretty much the only option uh, let's see if we can get a better lighting uh, i'm still in the dark oh right there so uh at that time and for some time i was looking for a uh, wiring harness reason why because this wiring harness from bobcat is actually close to four thousand dollars by the time you pay uh, taxes, it's probably going to be well over uh, four thousand dollars. 
four thousand dollars for this wiring i mean some stuff on this bobcat makes no sense at all i mean they probably have their own reasons but i don't know i just don't get it so uh, i couldn't find used t320 and especially t320 uh, has two different wirings um, up until about 6000 um, serial number well there, there, there are different serial numbers let's just say there is about two different wirings on t320 of my year uh, so it, it was like next to impossible to find exact wiring uh, that I need so I was really lucky to find this wiring which like I said came off uh, T, uh, T300 this right here that's a main harness and there is cab harness and there's a little piece for the selectable joystick there's two harnesses in here so um, as far as I can remember I know I paid $800 for main harness um, but I do not remember if uh, I paid anything for cab harness but let's just say I pay paid uh, $800 for this harness now when I was buying this harness I knew that it's not exactly the same harness and I knew that I would have to do some kind of uh, modification the difference that I saw from the Bobcats um, parts diagram that um, my uh, original harness had two plugs going to this module right here and uh, another two plugs going to that module and uh, I saw on the diagram that T300 had little bit different um, plugs so I kind of knew when I was buying it I kind of knew that um, I would have to deal with this that's probably the um, biggest problem that I will have to deal with and I'm pretty sure somewhere else I'm gonna have another and the worst case scenario this wiring this wiring harness came off uh, selectable joystick controls as well but it's different because it's T300 but worst case scenario I kind of expected that um, I would have to in case if this T300 wiring is gonna be uh, lacking of some wires I'm just gonna have to add some wiring to this uh, main bunch basically I, I was willing when I was buying it I was willing to go into this trouble um, to save uh, like three thousand dollars so this is where we at right now and uh, as far as uh, comparing this wiring harness to whatever is left over there um, everything looks really good um, so right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna attempt to disassembling this uh, connector and I'm gonna pull uh, one wire and I will compare uh, whether the um, terminal is the same from this plug on, on that uh, plug if the terminal is the same then the only thing that I'm gonna have to do is just pull in wires find the right place I have a diagram um, these are the connectors these are numbers numbered uh, um, wires and location where they're going and I got uh, main diagram this right here which is not uh, I don't think it's detailed because it looks uh, a little bit too simple for for being a uh, full diagram uh, but I'm pretty sure we can figure this out okay guys so after uh, doing a little bit of uh, research um, this pins uh, or terminals whatever you want to call them they are called uh, super seal well that this 
well, original one, the original plug plugs two separate plugs. Um, that system called Super Seal is it, and it's actually uh, pretty popular in automotive. Uh, you can buy it anywhere. You can buy a kit, uh, 36 and 24 uh, pin. Uh, even with the crimper, uh, you can get a kit for about a hundred bucks. But if you like, I, I do have a crimper. I've done some work with the, with the Deutsch, or the, this is actually uh, um, AMP made by TE. Uh, I don't know if it tells you anything. It doesn't tell me much. Anyway, it, that's just the name of the company. Anyway. I've done uh, similar pins before and I have a crimper but if you don't you can buy a kit 36 and 24 um, pin uh, plugs and uh, pins terminals with the crimper kit is about a hundred bucks so but I, I don't need the plastic part I don't need a plug because I do have original ones. Uh, only thing that I do need is these terminals right here. I want to crimp them. Um, I feel like it's going to be a better, um, better option. What I could have done, I could have, what I originally um, planned, I, I could have just cut it and solder my original plugs onto this wiring. But, um, I feel it's gonna be a better option if I crimp them. It's gonna be it's gonna be faster, and um, I think it's it's gonna be a little bit better uh, in the long run because solder tends to um, corrode after a while, and um, I don't know how long is it gonna take. It might take years, but but anyway, I, let's just let's just put it this way. I just like um crimp option versus soldering it's just going to be quicker now these things are expensive um, if you buy them in thousands you can get them as cheap as like 10 cents 15 cents but um because i only need uh, about a hundred of them um the cheapest price i could find was uh about 26 cents a piece so that came to about $26 plus about $5 for shipping, taxes and everything came to about $33. Okay guys, so the, this little wiring project is completed. I have uh, uh, assembled main uh, frame harness, um, cab harness. Um, everything looks good. Uh, it's actually uh, was quite uh, time consuming, uh, but nothing, uh, nothing extra difficult to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure if anybody spent uh, uh, sometime uh, looking at the diagrams you will realize uh, how simple they are and uh, um, to do something like this is uh, not that complicated uh, although I'm I'm not sure if anybody's gonna be uh, messing with their wiring uh, which was half burned or completely burned so but it, hopefully this uh, is gonna be either entertaining uh, or uh, helpful to someone um, so if you have any questions just uh, comment uh, in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them and I will see you in the next one uh, in the next few videos I'm gonna bring you guys up to speed up to date to where I'm at with the Bobcat thank you so much